Now, question four. Do you know your exact target market along with what they need and want? This is critical. Many people actually skip this part because they don't want to exclude people. And actually when you do this, you are in fact um, kind of damaging yourself. There are billions of people online. You know, 5 billion are using the mobile phone, uh, but 1.7 billion are on the internet. And they are looking for something specific. When you don't commit to a target audience, you also don't commit to who you're talking to. And that gets reflected in everything. You see, how they find you is through the use of keywords. So if you forget this one simple fact, the rest of what you do can become a complete time waster. And here's why, and that's Google delivers only based on words on your website, your articles, and your blog posts. So if there is no clarity in that, and if you're attempting to speak to everyone, Google will treat you like white noise. So you will not be seen or heard. That means it's all up to you to kind of get that clarity of who you serve. And this is the first major issue and error of most entrepreneurs. And, and here's the reason why um, it, it started to become such a prominent issue. And that's because historically, we were meeting everybody face to face and our prospects were were being met at networking events and seminars and things of that nature and so when you're doing that you're actually selecting those groups unconsciously knowing your target market for example if you're constantly going to women networking groups who are about age 40 and up who are in business um then chances are that's that's leaning towards who your target market is, and that's who you should be communicating to. Um, and here's the other thing that, can, that happens, is when you're in front of someone, male, female, doesn't matter whatever their age is, um, you are um, filtering instinctively what you're going to say to them. Well, when you're putting content online, you don't get that luxury. So you have to cater and be specific um, or else you're simply not going to uh, penetrate any market whatsoever. So the key identifiers that Google and the online seeker is looking for is the language that you use in your copy. Uh, does it connect to your target market, especially differentiating between men and women because they have very different uh, ways that they communicate. Men love statistics, women are emotional, um, and their pain points are different. Uh, so that's why it's important to target that. The other thing is the social media platforms that you spend your time on. Um, if you don't know your target market, then you don't know where you should be spending your time in social media. And, and then another issue is the colors. This stems from your target market. Every single color has a meaning. Um, and then you launch it through your logo and your website. And this visual impact is a major contributor to poor conversion and engagement. And you can even repel instantly if it is incorrect. All right. 